SES Massive and Crew back once again with another video and today I'm going to share with you how you can use sound fonts in uh, Renoise. Now sound fonts are really cool sounds uh, that you can go online and you can download a lot of them free. Uh, we do have a few sound font sample packs um, that are actually on um, samplers.co.uk there's even some retro uh, synth sample packs not even sample packs they're like sound font 2 files that you can get which are like old uh, rack mount modules in sound font format um, now um, I kind of missed that uh, you know using that in Renoise uh, and I found actually you know done some res research because what the what get me got me started was I found the old Akai test tone um, and what I did was saved a lot of my old um, sounds and stuff in sound font 2 SF2 format and I used to use that in EXS24 which is really easy to load in logic um, I believe there's a tutorial on that um, you know on the internet you just got to look it up um, but uh, in Renoise I didn't find a way to do it until now and it's a real cool 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 thing uh, I'll just give you a little insight you know you can grab sound fonts from the internet there's lots and lots and lots of free downloads to choose from that you you know everything from guitars to pianos to synthesizers harps drum kit bass you know sky's the limit but um, you know there's there's tons that you could check out now um, now the way you go about it is to load sound fonts into uh, Renoise. Uh, it's quite straightforward, actually, um, it, and 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 unfortunately, it only works with Apple Mac. So, um, I mean, you can load sound fonts into on on the PC, uh, but this method I'm showing you today only works with Mac because you need to use the Apple kind of plugin section to make it work. And how you do this is you first of all go to your Hold on, let's just get this uh, this this closed down. You first of all would go to your finder, and then you would go to uh, your main Mac hard drive. In my case, it's going to be Mac Pro. I'll go to my Mavericks folder, and then you want to look for a folder called Library. Then after Library, Audio and then sounds and then go into banks and if you look here you can then see uh that i've got all my sound well not even all of them i've only just started loading them in because i literally just wanted to share that with you today um but um i've started loading in all, all my sound fonts and stuff into there and then the next thing you do when you go into renoise now um you would then go to where it says plugin and you go to this menu here and you just look for the apple menu and if you go to where it says dls music something or the other there you then see this window opens up and that's going to be all your sound fonts in there you literally would just select them you can see all my own look emu proteus you know got the best of the old emu proteus uh, I've got my Supernova sounds, which I actually um, sound for and tuned up. And, you know, they sound great. They've got a little bit of reverb on it. You can control the reverb from here, I guess. So you can have it kind of flat. Look, your reverb volume. You've got your tune in. Um, and, yeah, this is great. I'm, I'm sort of over the moon that, you know, my Akai sine wave. Lovely. Take down that reverb. And then if you wanted to, you could then convert it to uh, Renoise Instruments. You could then go to here and then go um, render plugin to new instrument. Click on there. I mean, I've left everything pretty much as default. Hit start. Uh, click yes. And then it does some sort of conversion. And basically what it does from here is it makes a multi-layer sample from the actual sound font which is cool and then you could then if you wanted to just literally go to here and save it in your in your library in your you know in your arsenal of stuff that you like to use I've uh, got my bass sounds here um, you got excuse me peeps up it was up to two o'clock this morning uh, working real hard uh, so you go to there yep go to save click on that I guess save here and then you just go into your bass sounds there we go sorry I told you to go in the wrong place just now. Right, you go here and then you go Akai Bass. Okay, guys, so I've just been going through my sound library and I've been finding that certain sounds can crush uh, your sound font player. So you have to be very careful with that. Um, 
Um, what I've had to do is go through all of them. Literally, in some cases, uh, I've made folders up called good. And I've been just getting that and then just naming the group folder like so. Calling that good to, for example. And then I would then drag this into uh, my sound font library as described earlier um, and then just test it. I'd have Renoise open and I would just be, as I drag that in, um, I would just test it to see if my sound font folder is still working. See, there's that's crashed there now. So what I then have to do when it's crashed is I would have to go to force quit. So it's uh, alt command and escape. And then you just literally force quit it. And from here, you've got a troubleshoot now. You'd literally have to go through all of these sounds. Probably drag them one by one, uh, if you know, it back into the folder. Um, what I would do now is just literally delete this from here. Uh, you could do them in batches, you know, if you're feeling lucky. Uh, that sometimes would work really well. Um, just, you know, all the same. Um, and you would literally... Um, just just drag them in so this is good too. some so what's going on at the moment is something in here one sample is crashing and there's no way to tell man it's not really any you know just comment down below if you guys know you know any of max sound font testers uh, that will allow me to do this yeah just comment down below let me know uh, because um, you know like I said I'm really struggling with this one uh, it could be this actually because it's it could be simple things sometimes like a file named weird so i'll tell you what i'm going to do let me try that again so i'm going to i'm going to launch my renoise right it's got a little bit of a doodah at the front there i've got to clean it up and then i'm going to try dragging this sample into the sound fonts folder and see what happens uh let's have a look so try that now so as you see, I've deleted that folder, right? So I'm going to reload my sound font player. And boom, it's working, right? So now I'm going to get this file and I'm going to drag it into this folder here. I've got two screens open, so, you, you know, I'm just moving in. And then I'm going to go to there. Then I'm going to go back to Renoise and I'm going to see if that is what's crashing it. No, and that's fine. It's, it works. And you've literally got to leave it open and you've got to drag files in kick ass bass and it's all there all right so basically that's just quick heads up on that one i just wanted to give you an idea into the process i've been sitting in front of this computer after work for about two days now just adding files to the sound library and as you can see my sound library is getting bigger and bigger i've had to go fo uh, folder within folder um, sorting out a lot of my old bits and pieces and putting them into place and once i've got all the files cleaned and i know exactly where i'm putting my stuff um, I would then, um, you know, arrange it a little bit better once I've made a backup, of course, of the working folder. And that's literally it. And then you just go and do your research, find more sound fonts, and there's tons of free library. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Take care. God bless. Peace.